Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because today is a new unboxing video. You guys know how I love my subscription boxes. I'm always finding new ones to delve into. And this one is a particularly special one because this is a new passion of mine. Um, something that I've started getting more into within the past month and a half, two months, um, kind of more into it. Like I feel like I've always kind of had some kind of curiosity for it, but anyway, more on that later. This is a Mindful Souls subscription box. I recently signed up for this because I recently started getting more into crystals and their healing powers and just everything that they can do for you. I've started noticing that, feeling that, and so I've just gotten so much into it that it is crazy, but it's crazy in a good way for sure. I recently signed up to this and I'm super excited to see, to show you guys because I already saw it. I did get this box the day before yesterday so like a couple days ago and i just i looked at everything because i could not wait but i am going to be showing you guys on camera i loved every single piece i loved it so much so anyway let's go ahead and get right in. okay so this is what the box looks like and it's just got like the third eye symbol and then it says mindful souls upon opening the box you get of course your little thank you cards so this says affirmation for creativity my unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me that is so nice like i just feel like they give you like a little bit of like a uplifting affirmation <laughs> um so that's cool like it's just so nice to see upon opening that so next pretty much on the back of this card is everything that i got so I will be reading a little bit about what it is and what it does and let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I have, this is super cute you guys, like I saw this upon opening it and oh it's so cute. It's a little dream catcher, it's a keychain, super cute so you can hook it or you can put it on a keychain. I love this color like this is one of my favorite go-to colors like as you can see it's kind of like well it's not really like the color of my eye eyeshadow but it's kind of close um, but this is like the color that I really really like like a burnt orange copper kind of color I really like it it has a little um, metal feather here and then it's got a big bead in the middle and then it's got these beads over here so it's really really cute like it's almost too cute to hang on my keys so what I was thinking is I'm probably gonna hang it on my rear view mirror of my car and hopefully the Sun doesn't fade it away which I think it might so I might have to find another purpose or another place to put this but yeah super cute um, I just don't want it to get like all dirty or whatever on my keys so super cute and that is just a dream catcher. Dream catchers are originated with the Ojibwe people. I hope I said that right. A group of natives of North America. It was said that dream catchers caught any harm that might be in the air. As a spider's web, it catches and holds whatever comes in contact with it. So hang it or wear it. Dream catchers are things that brings in positivity and life and peace to your mind. So I... I believe in dream, dream catchers. I always have. Like, that's always been something that's always kind of caught my eye. Um, growing up, I wasn't allowed to have dream catchers, and I'll get more into that in further videos. But so, yeah, next up is I caught this really cute little Buddha guy. Like, how cute is he? I mean, it almost looks like a child. It probably is a child for all I know but so cute it's just it's just like ceramic or something i assume now this is a serenity buddha figurine so it says it is for people who are either looking for peace and calm in their lives or those who wish to improve their own meditation skills the silhouette of the figurine is shaped more or less like a triangle which represents stability a buddha is one who has attained bodhi and by bodhi is meant wisdom an ideal state of intellectual and ethical perfection 
which can be achieved by man through purely human beings. The term Buddha literally means enlightened one or knower. So this is like so me, like this box, everything that came in this box is just, I feel like this box was like specifically just packed for me because all of this stuff just resonates with me so much. Um, I am someone who is looking for peace and calm and also want to improve my own meditation skills because I have been trying to meditate. It is so hard for me to meditate. Throughout my life, I've dealt with a lot of things and being able to quiet and calm my mind, my mind has not been one. So I'm trying to learn to meditate. Um, I've been meditating multiple times a day, just trying to improve those skills. And I feel like it's working slowly but surely, you know, it's just one of those things. But yes, this little guy is gonna come in. Then I got this little um, fragrance oil that is rosemary. And this rosemary, it's essential oil, so it can go in your diffuser or in your, I'm not sure if this is one that you can put on your skin there are some that you can't said it is considered sacred and it's one of the most powerful herbs and essential oils on the planet i did not know that it says native to the mediterranean the wooden evergreen has been used in folk medicine for thousands of years to improve memory that's another thing i suffer from is memory loss it soothes digestive uses, relieves muscle aches and pains, and it's also known for its anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory properties. So who knew rosemary had so much goodness in it? Like we eat it, we cook with it. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing what these herbs and plants can do for you. And we just don't we either don't realize it or just don't care enough to know, at least in my case. Like I, I really was just one to kind of just like brush everything off. Like, or even if I knew it was good for me, I never really went out of my way to find out why it was good for me or what it did for me or what, you know, specific area it helped me in. So, Okay, so the next three items come in these little cute pouches. They are super cute. I love these pouches. You can use them to store things in. You can use them. I'm probably going to use them to store my more delicate crystals in, like selenite or um, what's that other green one? I'm still learning my crystals, so I'm not 100% sure of the names, but I will get there. In this little pouch, I have a pendulum necklace and it is amethyst so beautiful so beautiful i have a pendulum already so i love pendulums i'm just now starting to, to learn how to use them but this is so cute i've been wanting a necklace kind of looks like this i got this one i ordered it from um vinaya or I hope I said that right. But anyway, I'll leave a link to her shop down below. This is always handmade. This is an Oregon and this has all your chakras in there. And I wear this, but like, I mean, this is so cute. This is super, super cute. So it is a pendulum amethyst necklace. Amethyst is one of the most spiritual stones promoting love and encouraging selflessness and spiritual wisdom. Mentally, it helps you feel less scattered, more focused, and in control of your faculties. You can tap into the energy of the amethyst to fuel your determination with inspiration. Remind yourself that you can achieve anything you set out to achieve with the help of clarity, with the help and clarity of amethyst. Make tuning into the energy of amethyst the first of many healthy choices in your life. So this is definitely something that is going to be in my everyday um, stash. All right, and the next thing I got, again, is in one of these little pouches, and this is a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. It is a, it's got the little elephant, and it is a white turquoise and lava stone bracelet. It's so beautiful. As you guys can know, I, as you guys can see, I am fond of these bracelets. I wear these on a daily basis. Um, I do take them off at night, um, but 
daily, daily I wear this. And this is an opal, which is my birthstone um, ring that my mom gave to me many, many years ago. I wear it every day too. And then I have one that I ordered from Amazon, which I'm not sure it's real. I don't think it's real, but like clear quartz, I believe. And then a lava stone over here. But anyway, this is a turquoise and a white turquoise and lava stone bracelet. So turquoise has been considered a master healer and it's said to assist with absorption of nutrients while strengthening the immune system and stimulating tissue regeneration. So that is awesome. And then the black lava stones, or the black lava beads is in igneous volcanic rock that is basically molten lava that has been solidified under intense pressure and heat. So it is a stone of health, I'm sorry, it is a stone of strength, fire, passion, and courage that brings stability throughout changes in your life. It can help harness power of the fire within and absorb, lava beads are porous and can even absorb the oils of your choice. So you can put, and I already know that because these have a lava beads on them. I'm not sure what this is. I have to look up this bead, but I got this from Amazon too. Um, not sure what that is, I'll have to look that up, but you put essential oils in the lava beads and they last about a day, like a drop or two, and you have it with you. So last but not least, uh, in this other little bag, I got a, this is a rose quartz pointer crystal. I have a rose quartz, I just have one though, but I don't have a, uh, pointer crystal so I usually I'm more drawn to like the rough raw ones like the um, the ones that haven't been shaped or anything but I've been wanting to get one of these so perfect timing rose quartz and this is a really aside from it being very pretty um, it has really good healing properties it says it's the stone of the heart a crystal of unconditional love and infinite peace it is the most important crystal for the heart and heart chakra, teaching the true essence of love. It purifies and opens the heart at all levels and brings deep inner healing and self-love. It is calming, reassuring, and excellent for use in trauma or crisis. Rose quartz gently draws off negative energy and replaces it with loving vibes. Carry it with you, meditate with it, lay with it on your body and place it in your, or place it in your space. So this is a really good, this is like one of like the go-to um, crystals. Um, one of my favorites along with amethyst and clear quartz. Um, so yes, just going to add that to my collection. That was all that I got in my first box. I really liked everything that I got. I will leave a link down below to show you, um, share with you guys if you guys want to sign up for that. Um, other than that, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you guys have any questions or anything like that. I'm always up for answering any questions or any um, video ideas or anything like that. But anyway, that was it. Thank you so much. Bye.